WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to week 14 of the course. Professor Schwartz here yet again in the WSTKS FM Worldwide Studios with the usual mug of coffee and my feline buddy Onyx the Cat sprawled on the floor in a handy spot of sunshine coming in through the window. Today, let's look at four big picture ideas to keep in mind as you and the members of your student learning team create and refine Collaborative Project 3 in the run up to the end of the course. Ready? Here we go. To begin with, when it comes to Collaborative Project 3, your student learning team should feel free to actively construct meaning by building on prior knowledge and experience of the materials specific to this course, its related reading or viewing, as well as your previous team discussions and projects. Reflect and build on those experiences as your team creates and refines its project. In other words, Allow yourselves the freedom to think, to question, to reflect on, revisit, and to interact with ideas and each other through deeper discussion, evaluation, and reevaluation of your ideas. Keep in mind that your grasp of course materials and related project development requires that all of your team members actively engage in the creation of meaning. Remember that effective collaboration is an ongoing, inclusive, and democratic process. On a similar note, Remember that new knowledge is built upon prior knowledge. Take the various pieces of learning you have acquired and cultivated during the last 14 weeks or so and reassemble them in your own unique way. Don't be afraid to build something that is different from what another student learning team might create. Remember that previous knowledge, experiences, beliefs, and insights are all important building blocks or foundations for continued learning at the end of, and even beyond, the course. Engage in the subject matter your student learning team chooses to work with so that all of you are actively involved in your own learning and development. Of course, we are all tired by this late point in the semester, but make the effort to engage actively in your remaining team discussions, reading, reviewing, and creative activities. Thirdly, remember that knowledge becomes a personal affair of sorts based on your own experiences, beliefs, and understanding of course materials. The body of knowledge you have built up through your independent and collaborative activities in the course is unique to each of you. Each member of your student learning team will bring their own prior knowledge and experiences to the table as all of you work together to create, refine, and polish collaborative project number three. So the way team members learn, the things they learn, and the learning they take away from the course may look very different from person to person. Last of all, consider the kinds of things you have done week to week in this particular course, and you'll notice a constructivist approach at work. In a nutshell, your learning has evolved through active, collaborative, and reflective activities independently and as part of your student learning team. 
Significantly, you have looked into various social issues as reflected in at least some of the primary and supporting materials that make up the course. At the same time, you have cultivated various 21st century skills on which you can continually draw following graduation once you enter the globalized digital economy, regardless of your intended career path. WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. And that will almost do it for today's program, everyone. Keep the four big picture ideas presented today in mind as you and the members of your student learning team create and refine collaborative project number three. To recap, these include one, actively construct meaning by building on prior knowledge and experiences of the materials specific to this course, its related reading or viewing, and your previous team discussions and projects. Two, New knowledge builds on prior knowledge. Take the various pieces of learning you have acquired and cultivated during the last 14 weeks and reassemble them in your own unique way. Three, knowledge is a personal affair based on your own experiences, beliefs, and understanding of course materials. The knowledge you retain and use to create Collaborative Project 3 looks different from student to student. And four, your learning has evolved through active collaboration and reflective activities independently and as part of your student learning team. Besides acquiring knowledge of particular course materials and how those relate to life in the real world off campus, you have also cultivated various 21st century skills on which you can continually draw once you transist to the globalized digital economy after graduation. Tune in again to WSTKS FM Worldwide for more helpful tips, tricks, and advice based on my 25 plus years of teaching and working with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities across the upper Midwest of the United States. In the meantime, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in class, online, and during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Stay healthy. Have a safe and a productive week. With special regards, from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide. Digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.